false alarm put Tarrant County's virus preparation to the test today. A patient was put into isolation at Fort Worth JPS Hospital. Jason Allen is in Fort Worth for us tonight. So medical professionals are already considering a few changes to their plans after what unfolded today. Tell us more. Doug, uh, JPS is talking about just evaluating these new potential patients with this virus in the ambulance before ever taking them into a hospital in order to control the spread of the virus. And this was a timely example today of what health and public, public safety officials have been talking about, which is their response to this virus is constantly changing and evolving. A patient brought in by ambulance to Fort Worth's JPS Hospital Tuesday had flu-like symptoms and had been to Italy. But after putting them in isolation and suiting up in a full protective suit, doctors determined it was a false alarm. Health officials confirmed, though, Tuesday they are monitoring a number of other people around the county, checking in on them twice a day in case they develop symptoms of COVID-19. They have been very cooperative in letting us know uh, where uh, folks are, not necessarily who they are, but where they should be in the event that there is a need for a 911 response from either police or fire. Fort Worth Fire Chief said beyond plans for responding to individual patients, the city is continuing to prepare for a worst case scenario. That would include how to keep public safety departments and the city operating, even if large numbers of people were sick or needed to be isolated just in case. County health officials were able to announce some progress Tuesday in testing for the virus. Local testing should be available by the end of the week, eliminating the need to send samples across the country to get results. It's important for us because a hospital gets someone in that they needs to be tested and we're having to wait up to a week to get results. The fire chief told leaders here at City Hall tonight there is still a lot about this situation that they just don't know, including how it could impact community events going forward and the potential financial impact that it could have as this whole thing evolves. Live tonight in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.